Good morning, sir. You ready for a long ride home? He's been digging here all morning. Already made a pretty big hole. 2,200 kilometers to go home. You ready? Cute little boots. <laughs> yeah, Felix is having a great time and today we will show you how we handle long car rides with the dog and make it a little bit more fun for Felix. We first start by going for a little walk. You wanna hop in or what? Long ride today. Shall we go? Here we go? Okay. Let's go! Let's go! Now after the walk, Felix is a little bit more relaxed and will probably sleep for the next hour. First short break after an hour of driving. We are parked here at a petrol station, filling up. And in the meantime, Felix and I are going for a little walk. Who's this guy? <laughs> On long car rides, we usually take breaks every one and a half to two hours. Chilling in the back and ready to continue the ride. Huh? Bitchin! Yeah, muddy bitchin! To keep Felix busy during the ride, we also love to bring some chews with us. This is an antler from a deer, for example, Felix really likes that. Or you can also, yeah, just bring some bones or whatever your dog prefers. You want a break? Cassie? Yeah? Should we take a break? Okay, come. Come on. On hat. Little snack break in between some crunchies. Oh, this one is lush. We also always make sure that Felix has a cozy area to relax in, like this one. In our vintage van, it's a bench between the two seats in the front in our normal car. It's the bench in the back and here we just fold it down the bed, place some pillows so he can have some slumbers while driving. We just had another break and the walk was very exhausting for Felix. He is so slow. Oh. Slurp break. For mental stimulation and to mix it up a little bit during the boring ride, it's great to do some exercises or tricks in between. They're a lot of fun and it's very easy to do. 